So moving on to some drills that can help stretch through the joints that you're going to be using for bow staff. First off, we're going to start with a wrist. So just place your hand in the center of the bow and we're going to take the bow staff all the way over and then all the way back. Good. Perfect. Just really take in your wrist to its end points, its end range of movement. Great. This exercise works best with a heavier bow. Um, the more traditional bows are the heavier, so maybe not a tapered one for this exercise, although you're still going to find the benefits by doing it with one. Don't forget to do it on both sides. Good, and always have your arm slightly bent just to protect anything from over rotating too much. Good. Another one to do is for the shoulder. So we're having the bow staff down like so. We're just gonna come up and then down. Up and then down. Change sides. Good. Another one for the shoulders. Place your hands quite wide at the bow staff this time. And what we're going to do is aim to go all the way over our heads to the back without changing our hand grip. So watch from the side. I'm gonna bring the bow staff up and over. Really working the shoulder, shoulder mobility here and then come back. Now if you're finding it super hard, just widen the grip. The wider, the easier. And then come in shorter as and when your shoulders get more mobile. Again, really take your time with this exercise and be mindful of the shoulders. Two more. Good. Another one that we can do and work on is aiming to get our hands touching behind us. So a bit like with the nunchucks when you pass it through, like so, that's the exercise that we're aiming for. So we're going to take the bow staff into one hand Take it up and over, bend through the elbow to here, and then grab on with the opposite hand. From here, we want to try and walk our hands as close as we can together till they're touching. Hold, and then release. And then we'll try that on the opposite side. So bow staff comes up, bend through the elbow, grab on as high as you can with the other hand and use the bow staff to walk your hands together. And you'll often find that you're more flexible one way than the other. That's absolutely perfectly normal. And we'll do one more of those on each side.
Very good, good. So another thing that I really want to practice with you is the ability to change your hand grip in between a sequence. Now, getting the use to being able to do this is so helpful for further down the line when you are doing your bow stuff for sequences, for manipulations, and being able to do it on the spot during a combination is really helpful to be able to build up your speed and develop your progression with the bow staff. So if you start with the overhand grip, the thumb comes out first, followed by the hand. Thumb, hand. If you're going from underhand to overhand, the hand comes out first and swivels round. Okay, thumb, hand, thumb, hand, hand, thumb. Okay, and just practice that so that you've got it flawlessly and that will really help with transitions further down the line. Our last drill for the beginners course is the thrust sequence. So basically we're going to do a thrust forwards with a bow staff in a forward stance and then from there we're going to pull the bow staff back and at the same time switch stance. So from here we're going to pull back switch stance. Okay, now what this enables us to do is practice the change of our hips into our stances and also the change of direction for further down the line also. So we're going to thrust forwards, hips go forwards. Come back with the bow staff. As my bow staff is approaching halfway, I'm going to switch the direction of my stance to face the back end of the bow staff. And again, if I'm going forwards, I'm looking where I'm attacking, my hips and my feet, everything changes direction. And then I'm bringing it back, hips, feet, and bow staff change direction. So if I show you that a bit faster, okay, see how everything changes direction at the same time. And when the bow staff hits its final position, so does my stance. And again, coming back, hits that final position, so does my stance. And this is a great drill to practice to enable that change of direction, hips, bow staff, everything finishing and setting together.